everyone, my name is Gabby Jones. I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of data protection land landscape, excuse me, such as encryption, data security, key management, and privacy. Key management is one of the most crucial services in encryption domain as it involves handling the life cycle of highly sensitive objects, keys. There are several phases involved in the key management life cycle. Uh, let's discuss the basics of keys and stages in key management in this video. Cryptographic keys are a vital part of any security system. They do everything from data encryption to decryption to user authentication. The compromise of any cryptographic key could lead to the collapse of an organization's entire infrastructure, allowing the attacker to decrypt sensitive data, authenticate themselves as privileged users, or give themselves access to other sources of classified information. Luckily, proper management of keys and their related components can ensure the safety of confidential information. Key management is the process of putting certain standards in place to ensure the security of cryptographic keys in an organization. Key management deals with the creation, exchange, storage, deletion, and refreshing of keys. They also deal with the member's access to keys. Why is key management important? It forms the basis of all data security. Data is encrypted and decrypted via the use of encryption keys, which means the loss or compromise of any encryption key would invalidate the data security measures put into place. Keys also ensure the safety transmission of data across an internet connection. With authentication methods like code signing, attackers could pretend to be a trusted service like Microsoft while giving victims computers malware if they steal a poorly uh, protected key. Keys provide compliance with certain standards and regulations to ensure companies are using best practices when um, protecting cryptographic keys. Well-protected keys are only accessible by users who need them. Here are some of the types of keys, uh, public and private. A key pair consists of a private key and public key. The private key validates the user identity or process requesting access. The public key establishes which account is to be accessed on each target system. Using these keys, one can achieve either symmetric or asymmetric encryption. Symmetric keys deal with data at rest, which is data stored in a static location, such as a database. So symmetric key encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption. Using data in a database as an example, while the data is stored in the database, it is encrypted with a symmetric key. Once an authorized user attempts to access the key, the information is decrypted with the same symmetric key and made accessible to the user. The other type of cryptographic key is an asymmetric key. Encryption using asymmetric keys is a little more complicated than symmetric key encryption. Instead of using the same key for both encryption and decryption, two separate keys called public and private keys are used for the encryption and decryption of data. Key management lifecycle. Key management follows a life cycle of operations which are needed to ensure the key is created, stored, used, and rotated securely. Most cryptographic keys follow a life cycle which involves key generation, distribution, maintenance, and end of life. The generation of a key is the first step in ensuring that key is secure. If the key in question is generated with a weak encryption algorithm, then any attacker could easily discover the value of the encryption key. Also, if the key is generated in an insecure location, the key could be compromised as soon as it's created, resulting in a key that cannot safely be used for encryption. Key generators, AES encryption algorithms or random number generators tend to be used for secure key generation. The next step of the key lifecycle is ensuring the safe distribution of the keys. Keys should be distributed to the required user via secure TLS or SSL connection to maintain the security of the keys being distributed. If an insecure connection is used to distribute the cryptographic keys, then the security of any data encrypted by these keys is in question as an attacker could execute a man in the middle attack and steal those keys. Post distribution comes maintenance stage where the key is used for cryptographic operations. As previously noted, the key should only be used by authorized users to make certain the key is not misused, copied, etc. To avoid any misuse, keys are stored in secure devices such as hardware security modules, HSM, or cloud HSM. So that's going to bring us to the end of our video. Um, next video, we are going to talk about compliance standards and best practices uh, followed in key management in our next video. Um, if your organization is looking for implementation of key management, please consult info at encryptionconsulting.com for further information. Thank you.